you know that if you have millions of followers and are getting millions of views that you'll make money here on YouTube. But what if you don't? What if you're new or have a smaller channel or you're just getting started? What if you don't need millions of followers for your business, you just need the right followers? In this video, I'm gonna share with you ways that you can make money on YouTube even if you're just getting started. My name is Anita and I'm a video marketing and social media strategist. I help business owners just like you get visible through video marketing and content repurposing. No matter why you started your channel, you wanna remember why people come to YouTube. They want to solve a pain point, whether they have a question that needs an answer or they're looking for a tutorial or they're looking for entertainment. There's something that they are looking for. So no matter which of these different ideas for making money that you choose, you want to make sure that your videos don't feel like a commercial. That's the fastest way to lose your audience and drop in retention provide true value and offer some of these things within the video, but don't let it be the whole video. Tip number one for making money on YouTube is using email funnels. Now, when someone watches your YouTube video, you have the opportunity where you can invite them to learn more about what it is that you're talking about. By doing this, you'll create perhaps free offers of downloads or mini courses or master classes. And from that, to get the information, they often give their email address to be connected. You then can email them. And in those emails, you can create certain offers that would be interesting to the next steps that they would need to be successful with the content that you provided. There are many different types of email funnels and I'm not gonna break them down all here, but what I will tell you is that for my own business, I have people who are watching my YouTube videos and downloading my free offers. From that, they are then getting emails to provide them more value and more content. And often they are emailing me to work with me this has been a big portion of how my YouTube channel has made money with only a little over 200 subscribers. As a service-based business owner, this model works really well for me, but you can tailor this type of effort to work for you and your business. Tip number two for making money on YouTube is affiliate marketing. So whether you are an affiliate for a product, a course, a service, what you can do is share about what it is that you are connected to and link within the description that item or service. Then when people click on them to obtain those offers, you then get a percentage of the income. There's many different ways that people do this. Sometimes business owners are affiliates for other people's services and business programs. You can also be an affiliate for tools that you use. For instance, I'm an affiliate with Kajabi. And so when people use the link that I provide for a free trial to Kajabi, if they decide to sign up, I do get a little bit of money from Kajabi for referring somebody to their service. Now for me, I think integrity is really important. I would never share with you anything I didn't actually use and find valuable. So you wanna keep that in mind so that your audience can really trust what you recommend. You'll find that I don't have a lot of things I'm recommending to you, but Kajabi is definitely one of them that I would. For me, it is so many parts of my business. It houses my website, my courses, my products, my freebies, my landing pages, and my email list. Kajabi is my one-stop shop. Because of that, I'm then able to share that with you at different times. Tip number three for making money on YouTube is sponsorships and brand deals. So this is when you are able to contract with certain companies that would be interested in sponsoring your channel. They might want to sponsor a particular video or a series of videos or even your channel for a given amount of time. In exchange, you're gonna talk about this company or product and often direct people to a particular purchase link so that the company can track the return on investment of that sponsorship. Now, as a YouTuber, you do need to disclose if your video is sponsored, and that's something that you can say in your video. You also need to put it in the description of the video. And so while I mentioned Kajabi, Kajabi did not sponsor this video. However, 
when I was in college creating YouTube videos about makeup tutorials and reviews, I did work with several companies to share about their particular products. They would pay me to review the product for my audience and to keep integrity you always wanted to be honest in those reviews, but it gave you the opportunity to maybe try a new product or service and then give your experience. And that content then could be leveraged by the company to get more customers. Sponsorships and brand deals can be an excellent way to bring in income from YouTube. And as your channel gets bigger, you're gonna have more opportunities to contract with some of those companies Particularly if you are in a very specific niche, you're going to want to reach out to companies that would serve that particular niche and they might be interested in partnering with you. You could start this even as a very small channel if you have a very specific group that you serve. Sponsorships and brand deals are a great way for you to bring in income for what it is that you are doing here as a creator on YouTube, but also really allow your audience to be exposed to new products or service. Tip number four for making money on YouTube is merchandise and products. So merchandise involves you creating different items, maybe with your logo or name on it that people would be interested in buying. You often see this with YouTubers when they are promoting different t-shirts or cups or various other things like stickers that have their name or logo on it. When merchandise with your name or logo is sold, you then get money from the sales. With products, this can be both physical and digital products that you can share with your audience. In the case of digital products, this can look like a lot of things such as different courses or services or memberships. And physical products obviously can be directed towards, let's say you are a company that creates cups you might want to um, sell more cups. So even if you are new on YouTube, you can create different offers through digital or physical products and then share them with your audience. You can do that either directly in your videos or within the email funnels that you are connecting them to. And don't worry if you're somebody who has started making videos and you just don't have any products yet, you can create them. As an established business owner, this is a great way for you to get more people enrolled in your programs or services. Because you're increasing your visibility, you'll have more leads to be able to connect people to what it is that you offer. Tip number five is crowdfunding. As a creator on YouTube, you absolutely can partner with different services that allow you to crowdfund. A popular one for YouTubers is called Patreon, and it is a website that allows you to connect to your audience if they sign up. This can give them access to exclusive content or behind the scenes or even sneak peeks of what you have coming up. This also can give them insight into your creative process and get them excited to be an insider. In exchange, you get the freedom to do some of your best work and be compensated for the time that you spend creating by the donations that they're making through Patreon. This can also allow you to have stability in an independent and creative career depending on your audience and how excited they are to give. Now, I couldn't make a video on YouTube without sharing about AdSense and how YouTube will pay you if you meet their requirements. So tip number six for making money on YouTube is ads. Now YouTube has certain requirements for you to be able to connect ads to your channel. You need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in a 12 month period. YouTube will then pay you to run ads on your videos. So what happens is companies actually come to YouTube and they pay a certain amount to have their companies promoted within the YouTube platform. When you meet YouTube's requirements, you can open up your channel to have ads inserted within your videos. And then when your viewers are watching the ads, you get a small amount of income based on the number of views. However, it takes time to build up that subscriber and watch time limit. And then, your income is dependent on the number of views that people are going through your channel. This is a longer game strategy and can produce a, a significant amount of income. 
But personally, my channel is not yet at that standard. So if you want to subscribe and watch all of my videos all the way through, you can. But know that my YouTube channel has already generated thousands of dollars for my business because of some of these other tips that I've shared. Now, for any of these tips to work, you need to have good content and consistent content as well as people finding your videos. So I'm going to put on the screen right now the three types of video content that your channel absolutely needs. And that's gonna give you a ton of ideas so you can keep creating. I hope that you'll subscribe and share this with somebody else who needs to bring some income into their business. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.